voters have a powerful voice. The League of Women Voters of Oakland has prepared these summaries of the pros and cons of local ballot measures to help ensure that every voter has the information needed to make an informed decision. A significant portion of the City of Oakland's operating budget comes from real estate transfer taxes, paid by buyers and sellers of real estate. Currently, the tax rate is flat rather than graduated or progressive. Buyers of mansions and large commercial parcels pay the same percentage as condo buyers, 1.5% of the sale price. Measure X proposes a graduated tax with lower rates for lower cost properties and progressively higher rates for higher cost properties. This progressive real estate transfer tax could raise as much as $9 million in additional funds annually for Oakland fire, police, and other important city services. San Francisco has a graduated transfer tax with progressively higher rates on the more expensive properties. Voters there approved ballot measures during each of the past three elections that further increase the tax on the more expensive properties. Nationally, many cities have higher transfer taxes than Oakland does. This measure lowers to 1% the transfer tax for properties valued at $300,000 or less. It maintains the current 1.5% tax rate for properties between $300,000 and $2 million. Then, the tax rate progressively increases to 1.75% for properties between $2 and $5 million. Properties valued over $5 million would be assessed the top tax rate of 2.5%. The measure provides relief for low to moderate income first-time home buyers by reducing the applicable transfer tax by 50% for purchases below $2 million. The current reduction is 25%. Also, the measure proposes a one-third reduction in the transfer tax for low and moderate income buyers who perform seismic retrofits or install solar energy panels. Finally, nonprofit providers of affordable housing would pay no transfer tax rather than the 1.5% they pay now. Proponents of Measure X argue that a graduated tax is fairer than the current flat tax. Properties selling for under $300,000 will be taxed at the lower rate of 1%. Low and moderate first time home buyers will receive a discounted rate, and partial refunds will be available for seismic retrofits and solar energy installations. Only properties selling for over $2 million will be taxed at higher rates. Increasing the transfer tax on high-value properties will provide a significant source of needed revenue for vital public services in Oakland. Opponents say that the higher transfer taxes will be passed along to residents and small businesses through higher rents. They also say that new revenues will only be used for more bureaucracy. It is up to the voters in Oakland to decide on this measure. It requires a simple majority vote, 50% plus one, to pass. This information on local ballot measures has been provided by the League of Women Voters of Oakland. Visit us at lwvoakland.org.